welcome to the mathematics of my channel today we are going to solve another interesting integral integral from 0 to infinity natural log of cosine of x over sine of x dx well how to begin first I am going to use substitutes method so if we take a substitution u is equal to cosine of x now differentiate so du is equal to minus sine of x dx and lower limit when x approaches to 0 u approaches to cosine of 0 so 1 and upper limit when x approaches to uh, <laughs> sorry here not infinity here y over 2 sorry so now upper limit when x approaches to 5 over 2 u approaches to 0 also um, okay now we can plug in here and we can take this is i and we know now limit 1 to 0 so 1 to 0 natural log of cosine of x so natural log of u over sine of x so we know sine sine square of x is equal to 1 minus cosine square so 1 minus u square so sine of x is equal to 1 minus u square uh, square root of 1 minus u square so here 1 minus u square and then dx is equal to minus du over minus du over sine of x sine of x we know square root of 1 minus u square okay now here minus sign get cancelled when we change the limit lower limit and upper limit 0 to 1 here natural log of u over now 1 minus u square here du okay now how to evaluate this integral now we can use um, the infinite uh, series so we know 1 minus u square so and this is equal to infinite sum n is equal 0 to infinity u to the 2n and we can write here um, 0 to 1 sum of 0 to infinity u to the 2n times natural log of u du and now the summation we can write outside of the integral sign so 0 to infinity integral from 0 to 1 uh, u to the 2n times natural log of u du and I am going to take this is equation number 1 ok then we have another integral so 0 to 1 0 to 1 u to the 2n times natural log of u du ok how to evaluate this integral hmm. we can use by parts method so if we take integral from 0 to 1 now the first function uh, I'm going to take natural log of u so natural log of u and then d by dx now integration of u to the 2n so u to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 here sorry here du and also here du and then product of this two function so natural log of u u raised to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 from 0 to 1 minus 
integral from 0 to 1 then uh, rewrite this function so u to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 times derivative of first function so 1 over u du okay then yeah, if we plug in 1 here natural log of 1 0 also if we plug in 0 also 0 so this is going to 0 and we have minus here 2n plus 1 is a constant so 1 over 2n plus 1 integral form 0 to 1 now u to the 2n plus 1 1 over u so we know here u to the 2n du then minus 1 over 2n plus 1 times here integral of u to the 2n so u raised to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 from 0 to 1 okay now if we plug in 1 here 1 over 2n plus 1 if you plug in 0 here 0 so now we have minus 1 over 2n plus 1 square okay now we evaluated 0 to 1 go to the 2n uh, times natural log of u now we know our first equation i is equal to so i'm going to rewrite here so i is equal to sum of 0 to infinity integral from 0 to 1 go to the 2n natural log of u du okay now we evaluated this integral and the answer is here n is equal 0 to infinity and this is equal to minus 1 over so minus 1 over 2n plus 1 square okay now here minus sign we can write outside of the integral sign and we can write this part like um, sorry the issue of my camera so now here um, yeah, now we can write here n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n square minus n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over 2n square and now we know this is familiar with us and we can write this is equal to theta of 2 minus 1 over 4 theta of 2 now we can simplify this so minus 3 over 4 now theta of 2 and we know theta of 2 is equal to 5 square over 6 so we can write minus 3 over 4 5 square over 6 and this is equal to minus 5 square over Hey, okay, this is the answer. If you like this video, please subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching.